Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoiche here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person you're connecting with on a romantic level, or the person you want to be connecting with romantically. What is it that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently? So this reading is to cover January 1st to the 15th, 2021. But some of you may have already gone through this. Some of you may be going through this currently or in the far future. This may happen. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Capricorn, I must say, these cards are quite nice so far. These feelings and emotions are quite nice. They're sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> A desire for peace, love, and understanding. That's what I'm getting here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling towards you currently. You have here <clears throat> centering, laughter, pleasure, selfhood, synthesis, relationship, creativity, mystery, and under the bottom of the deck you have ecstasy. All right, Capricorn. My dear Capricorn, I feel very much centered with you. There's things about this connection that make me feel very balanced. When I'm not with you, and when I feel that you are not in my life, there's a sense of feeling incomplete. It's like the yin and the yang. This is how I feel about us. If you are the sun, I am the moon. We complement each other perfectly. I feel a spiritual connection with you. There is a part of me that does want to just simply have fun with you. I just want to laugh. You have this way of making me laugh. You have this way of making my heart happy. I feel joyful at the thought of you. <clears throat> there are things that have happened in this connection between us both and I do miss all the pleasure that we've had together. Not just physical, but having fun just as a friend. Times with you have been quite enjoyable. And I know that there's a part of you that is slightly defensive. A part of me, I'm a little defensive as well. But right now, you're making me melt. I am melting. I do feel that 
I have this desire to create peace and harmony from this connection. I know there used to be peace and harmony, but now there is not. And I would like to restore this. I do feel that this connection has a beautiful aura. We were meant to be together because I feel this is a spiritual connection. A long-term committed relationship is what I want because I feel that in a past life you and I were together. I want to create something with you. Something that will be long-lasting for the world to see. And I am wondering why is it that I feel so attached to you? I feel so attached as though I've known you from another time, from another place. I feel as though I recognize you from somewhere. And I've been asking the heavens, questioning the universe, why is it that you're in my life now? Currently, why are we going through what we're going through? And overall, your presence, your soul, makes my soul happy. There is a, a sense of eternal bliss in this connection. And this happiness, this joyfulness, it comes from my soul. All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> Three cards have showed up here. One, two, three. Firstly, these are all related to <clears throat> the spiritual aspect of your existence as well as theirs. And two of these cards, for me, the way I interpret it, this card and this one, Ecstasy and Mystery. Um, these two do talk about the soul being happy, but the soul is happy when one has recognized either a twin flame or a soulmate. And for me, these are past life cards. You, you have been in a relationship with this person before. Some of you who feel this intense connection will know this as if you have known this person before. Not everybody will. <coughs> But there's a handful of people that do experience this. And if you feel the situation is very complicated and you're wondering why did this person show up in my life now? What's the purpose? What is the purpose? Is there a lesson I'm supposed to learn? Is there a karmic lesson? I do past life readings. And you can reach out to me if you wish to learn more about what had happened in a past life and how that's affecting you in this lifetime. And what you can do to help advance this cycle, this pattern. Something may need to change and something may not have to repeat because then you're just going to be in a cycle every time in the next life as well. But if you're satisfied in this lifetime, if you have achieved everything that you want, you will not be coming back on planet Earth. All right, this is the beginner's tarot deck, and I'll be looking into any plans, any intentions that this person is wanting to take. <clears throat> the world, the world card. You do mean the world to this individual, Capricorn. They don't like being far away from you. They want to close that gap. 
it's been way too long that there's been distance emotionally and physically and they want to close this distance why because of the king of cups they feel very much attached to you emotionally you make them very vulnerable and you have the ability to make them very weak now they are actually tired of the way things have been they want to put it to sleep and they want to start something new they want to resurrect start something fresh in the connection so that things can get off at a better footing. This is what's happening here. Three of Pentacles, they do want to start something new with you. If by chance you are working with this individual or you have worked with them in the past, they are falling in love with you. That is just for some of you. For the rest of you, this person wants to provide you a solid offer and he or she wants to start a friendship that will lead to something bigger and better. Right now, where the both of you are stuck in this lack of peace and harmony kind of situation, where there is this tension, this friction, this unsaid issue. Six of Swords, this individual wants to move on from the situation. So Capricorn, is this person making a move? I don't see it yet. This is the planning stage. So they are planning. It does seem as if they are on their way there. They want to, they want to um, shift into clearer and calmer waters. So once they sail through certain tides and once they get there, they will feel that everything is calm and that's when they'll travel through that rough weather and they will be with you because you make them very emotional so this person let's just put it this way they are on their way all right i have here the lover's path tarot so I'm going to be pulling out one card to have a look at what it is that this individual is feeling, why they're not reaching out the way that they could be, the way that they should be. We have the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Prince of Coins. So the Prince of Coins, the issues this person is having right now, there's a lack of development and they're not really working as hard as they could have or they should be. There are opportunities, but they are not seeing these opportunities and they are ignoring them. There is wisdom that is necessary to create growth, but there's a lack of wisdom here, and therefore there is no growth. This person is quite immature. There's a sense of inertia, laziness. This person's not taking any action or responsibilities. And this is something that you might have noticed, Capricorn. This is a reason why there is an issue. Then we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups talks about hmm, he or she is rejecting the offer and the affection that you were providing and giving. They're creatively blocking on purpose any type of affection that you were giving to them. There is a sense of disillusionment with love. They really don't know what love is, even if it is staring them right in the face. This person is going through some sadness as well as melancholy about this situation. 
I feel, Capricorn, this person's not as experienced in love, matters of the heart, as you are. It's as if they don't recognize the true value and true potential of this situation. But it does seem as if in the future they will. I'm just going to do a quick prayer on the cards here. This is Doreen Virtue deck, Angel Answer cards. Within the next few weeks is the first card here. And then we have Take Action. Meditation brings answers. people <clears throat> reconsider wow then we have no that's no with an exclamation mark opportunity and you have an extra card that's coming out here <clears throat> it's up to you yep free will big happy changes. Give me a second to decipher these cards because they're slightly different, the messages here. There's a few messages that are popping up. And give me a second because I want to fix these cards as well. All right, I think you guys can see that. All right, this little guy. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I have bad eyes as you get older. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, now that these are all out there, okay, either Capricorn, you have two choices here. And some people wonder, why are there two choices? Isn't our life and destiny just one story? No, it's not. There are many possibilities. And there are many soulmates that come into our lives from past lives. You have an opportunity with this person, Capricorn. And if it doesn't work out, because it's up to you. Once you leave this individual, you will find someone else. And the majority of the time, the person that you find is someone who you've already been with in a past life connection. Either their karmic partner, a twin flame, or a soulmate. Most of the time, when you actually feel that connection, that is someone who is special. If you force yourself into it, that may just be a karmic partner, and that's about it. Karmic partners, okay, but not all of them are from a past life. Now, within the next few weeks, you're going to have the opportunity to take some action in regards to the situation with this individual. Archangel Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel are telling you that it would be good to meditate and pray to God. They are referring to Ishu, who is Jesus, the Christ Consciousness, and his Father. Helpful people. The angels are also saying that they would like you to consult with other people, get some help, vent, talk to people about your issue. Listen to what other people have to say, especially those people that have had some experience in similar situations. 
Once you get this information, you are going to start to reconsider what it is that you are thinking about this person. And no, it is not a good idea to be with this person the way you were before. You have to be someone who has changed. You are going to learn a few things. Your strategy is going to change. You're going to reconsider things. Your actions, your words towards this individual. And if you don't, no, it's not going to work out. In regards to this particular person, you are going to receive an opportunity. And if you do, and when you do, there are going to be big happy changes. But some of you may not want this. For some of you, there is someone else out there. That is why you have this card. It's up to you. If you want to make this happen, Capricorn, it will come true. If you don't, then your book of life, there will be a slightly different turn. A slightly different story. But it's still your story. So you can either be with this person and be happy. But if you don't want to be with this person anymore, you don't have to feel upset about that because... There is someone else out there. All right. And that's your reading, dear Capricorn. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated. And thank you once again for all of your encouragement and your support, guys. Thank you so much. It's truly appreciated. So I will see you again in mid-January. And uh, take care and stay safe. All right, then. Bye now.